All right, guys, what's up, YouTube? This is JDM Staying, Li Staying Life. This is Jackie Moron here. And uh, I'm just going to do a vlog about what we recently did to the Mustang. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably won't know what we did. So, uh, yeah, that's what this video is about. And uh, I'm trying to get better at vlogging. So, you guys tell me how I did in the comment section. So, uh, here we go. So, I'll start off first with uh, by saying who we are. As in we, I mean by who, who uh, helped me put the part on my car and replace it. That is me, my father, and my great uncle. So yeah, that's who we are. And the other thing is, the part we replaced is the rack and pinion, which, yeah, the, the power steering basically, the thing that makes the power steer. It's called a rack and pinion, but I think it's just called rack. I really don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's what we replaced, and it's it's been needing to be done for a long time, and uh, we finally got it done. And yeah, uh, the old one had a leak in it, so it would, you know, it would make that weird noise every once in a while because it's had a power steering fluid when you turn on it and uh, the other thing that was really crazy that it did is like when it would leak it would mix up with grease oil and dirt and there was all this stuff around it and I'll show you guys pictures of it but it was so nasty and it was just like horrible so yeah if you guys are ever thinking about replacing the rack and pinion on your car uh, it makes such a difference if yours is old and worn out. Mine was the original one that was on it since 1983 when it was made. And holy crap, it made such a difference. Everything was tighter in the front end. Like, everything was just stiff and tight. And gosh, it was so much more better. So, uh, yeah, but the only thing I did notice, it was harder to turn the wheel. But it wasn't that bad, so. Okay, so the only problem with the whole deal is the alignment on the front tires. And... The reason why is the uh, the inner tire rod it is it was a little bit longer and the threads were a little bit different than the old one was and from 1983, and uh, that was the only problem. So there was no way for us to align it, you know, like to to measure it out or you know measure the amount of turns you take the outer tire rod tire rod off. So there's no way to measure it. So we had to look up a YouTube video, and that was uh, telling us to line up a string with the back tires, and then the string would run to the front tires, and you you know you'd measure the the oh it's so complicated to explain but anyway you'd measure out how far away the string is from the back tires make sure they're the same and then like it the string would go up the front tires and it was supposedly you line it up the same way as the back tires would be aligned and we did that and it's pretty dang close you know i've been driving it for about two days now and uh the tires you know when i get done driving i feel them they're not hot like burning hot like they've been spun on i don't know how to explain it but anyway so uh yeah and so we're pretty dang dot on, but I'm going to get it aligned professionally just to make sure and just, you know, kind of know like, hey, did that work, you know? So, yeah. So, yeah, that's about all that's been going on with Mustang lately. And uh, we rotated the tires, front ones to the back and the back ones to the front. So, uh, yeah, you know, because they had some weird wearing marks because that other uh, rack and pinion was so messed up. Golly, it's crazy. But, yeah. Anyway, other news. Uh, nothing really new to the black Mustang. Uh nothing at all i mean it's just been sitting since we got it like i say i gotta get a k member for that you know i pretty much explained this i think in my other video but yeah k member you know i'm probably gonna use the old rack and pinion that came off of mine because it's not broke broke but it's screwed up but it'd be good enough just to have just to roll the car around you know so yeah that's that and then my other bit of big news is i'm trying to get another mustang a 1987 mustang it's a fox body but it's newer than the ones i have now like the back glass is different um doors are different the inside is completely different like everything like the interior it's got power windows and ac and all this good stuff and everything's different because it's newer so yeah i'm trying to get that one so i can take mine off the road because if some of you guys know um they don't make 83 front ends they don't make 79 through 82 front ends so it was like a really good find with that black car that i got that older front end but here's the thing is they don't make it and they make 85 and up but still 85 is not even like the same they don't even i don't think they sell the headlight panel for an 85 uh G gt or whatever so yeah that's why it would be awesome for me to invest in another one that i know i can buy every single part for another thing is it's not carbureted it's fuel injected and it's got like this cool breather and stuff like that and don't quite understand that yet but still it'd be something super awesome to get into it's completely different than carburetor and stuff so 
Okay, so I'm in the dang Jeep right now. Unfortunately, I'm not driving my car like I say the alignment. I don't want to push it. Like I say, it could be a week and the whole tires could be shredded. Uh, they're not showing any signs of uh, weird wear or anything yet, but I'm not going to push it. But uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, back to the 87 GT. So I'm not going to tell you how much it costs or I'm going to pay for it yet because I haven't got it yet. And like, I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. Like, maybe I have another Mustang or me myself either. But I just want you guys to know I'm trying my hardest and I'm halfway there. I will tell you that. I'm trying my hardest to save up all the money I can at my job. And, like, I'm not making that much. And it's, it's, I'm going to need help, like, with my family. My birthday and Christmas is coming up. So, yeah, that's about the only way I'm going to be able to make this happen if it happens. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be definitely a cool video for you guys. Hopefully coming up in the next three to four weeks is when I think if it's going to work out, that's when it's going to happen. So, yeah. And then I'll have a completely different, like, motor setup to talk about in my vlogs and stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is a vlogging channel, too, by the way. I haven't, like, even said that yet. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, vlogging and talking about Mustangs. That's about as good as it gets. That's that's life. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Really, just please subscribe. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to be that guy that's like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. I'm not going to try to do that, but I am going to include in every video I can to subscribe for new users. And uh, yeah, guys, be on the lookout for a, a channel um, preview or like a channel trailer. I'm trying to put one together. I'm going to put some cool music in and like, you know, like do all this cool stuff and make a cool video. Um, yeah. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. I don't know how long it's going to take and like, I don't even have enough footage right now because hey, you got to have a burnout in it. You got to have a super loud car. You got to do some drifting maybe, which I probably won't be able to do. Um, but still, it's going to be awesome. So be on the lookout for that. That's hopefully coming up pretty soon. Okay, so as usual, if you like this video and you know, like it, that'd be awesome. I'm um, not really pushing that, uh, but really I want to push subscribe and please subscribe to my channel. I have two subscribers right now and it's kind of sad, but hey, if you like what I'm doing and you want, you want to be with me as I grow, uh, just subscribe. I, I promise you there's awesome content coming, awesome videos, and I, I promise it's going to be awesome. So as usual, like, comment, subscribe.